Hello and welcome to section 15.6 on surface integrals. In this video I want to introduce the idea of what's known as a parametric surface. Since this is going to be really important for us in defining and computing surface integrals. And so let's first recall the idea of a parametric curve from Calc 3, which is also called the vector function there. And so here the input is a real number t, which is typically thought of as time, and the output is a three-dimensional vector in space. Again, as we let t vary over some interval in the real line, this vector r of t, which you can think of as the position vector of some uh, moving object, this vector r of t is going to trace out some path, right? some curve c in r3. Okay, And we call r of t here a parameterization of this curve c. Okay, Here's one such example you might recognize uh, this parametric curve as a uh, as a helix in R3. Okay, so one way you can conceptualize the action of this vector function R is to think of this interval we're letting t vary over as, say, a piece of wire. Okay, and so our vector function R here is deforming this wire into the shape of this curve C in R3. Okay, so with that in mind, let's go ahead now and consider parametric surfaces. Okay, so here the input now is not just a single real number. Okay, now it's going to be a point in R2, and I'll label the axes here as U and V. So we input a point UV, and the output again is a three-dimensional vector in space. And as we let UV vary over some region in the plane now, this vector r, which you can think of as a, a position vector, okay, this thing is going to trace out points on a surface in three-dimensional space. Okay, so up here I was saying the vector function r uh, is deforming this wire into this curve. Okay, here think of this region we're letting u v vary over as say a thin sheet of rubber. Okay, and our vector function now is going to deform this sheet of rubber into this uh, surface here in R3. Okay, now in terms of dimensionality, okay, the dimension of the domain for a parametric curve is just a, uh, is, is one, right? It's a one dimensional domain. So this wire here is one dimensional. So when you deform it, you get this one dimensional path C in R3. Okay, now here, the domain is two-dimensional. So when we deform this with our vector function r, we get a two-dimensional surface sitting in R3. Okay, now here's one such example of a parametric surface. Okay, so input is uv, and then the output, uh, we're computing the components of this uh, uh, three-dimensional vector, output vector, right, uh, in terms of u and v. Now in the next video, we'll go ahead and look at some really important surfaces that we're going to encounter throughout this section. And so I will see you there. All right, thanks so much.